executive session at 8.35, and uh, we apologize for our lengthened executive session where we had a couple of issues that we really needed to discuss. But I need a motion to file the appeal the minutes. Yeah, uh, I'd like to make a motion to file the executive session. Uh, so the record show that one vote was taken in to seal the minutes. Second. A motion by Mrs. Warnsky and a second to Mrs. O'Hara. Any other discussion? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. 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 Um, if the council would indulge me, I would ask that we waive the rules and move up for immediate consideration under item 9, old business, item number B and C, letter B and C, I should say, discussion by council board or other action on motor vehicle registrations, and discussion by council board or other action on traffic on Old Smithfield Road, because Officer Conti is here. So if council would indulge me, I just play. I'll make a motion that we waive the rules and move up for immediate consideration. Uh, I'll second the motion, Mr. President. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Officer Conti? Good evening. Uh, we just completed our 40 day observation period for the out of state registration. Um, we are currently organizing that information. Uh, sadly, tonight I do not have any uh, data to provide you, but hopefully within the next week or so, all that information is organized and we can give you a total number of violations uh, for out of state registration. But for tonight, we don't have any data uh, organized for you. Officer, um, at, I always call it the Stone Building, okay? Is that, that Redwood Street? No, that would be over next to the bridge. Yep. You know, um, there were, I've gone at Various times, and I've counted over a hundred. That's our state. highest. That's um, the location with the highest. Yeah, I saw the spreadsheet when you and I went through. Yeah, honest, and I'm going at times when they're there during the week, weekends, and uh, there are even some covered cars. And I don't know the gallery with that or they're out of state registered too. Uh, we're we're well aware that there's a major issue over there. Like I said, there's a lot of data we have to go through because every night during third shift, we have to manually punch in every vehicle that has an out-of-state registration. Um, and when we organize that data, we have to go one by one, day by day. So it is a time-consuming process, but hopefully by next week, everything's just kind of laid out for you, and we have something to provide you guys. Okay, and there's only one other thing. Um, we have a neighbor that uh, was renting. Their house was burned down in Pawtucket. They lost everything. They left with the shirt on their back. Um, it's not easy. The house has to be rebuilt or anything else. When there is circumstances like that, and they're going back, okay, can we waiver anything for these people as far as changing for the year to most the field and then going back to Suffolk because of the, uh, you know, the severity of their case? Right. I completely understand what you're saying. I don't feel comfortable in my position answering that question. Uh, that'd be something I could definitely reach out to a supervisor I, I just think and ask you about. Um, like I said, I just don't want to give you wrong information, and I'm not sure, but I have no problem asking for you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mr. President, just, just for the record, uh, so that when we speak of certain uh, residents, we're not just singling out one particular uh, area. We're, the whole town is yeah. being looked at. I just want to make that really mm -hmm. clear. And I have been checking in with um, I believe it's Sarah at the clerk's yeah. office and getting updates for any other uh, activity throughout the town that we need to check on. And also in regards to Old Smithfield Road, I brought some 2018 totals for you guys. I'm not sure if you want me to. Talk about traffic. Traffic. Yeah. Okay. That, Correct. That's separate. Yeah, that's the next slide. Next slide. Is that, is that what you want me to go to? Yeah, those are the I apologize. Yeah, those are the So, and yeah, it's just, just if we're all set with the with the motor vehicle. I'm the old business B, yes. Yeah. Okay, just we have to do this as a formality. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, now in regards to those good. numbers, uh, I know there's been a lot of complaints over on Old Smithfield Road. We get a lot of phone calls on them. Uh, in 2018, we had 123 traffic posts conducted in that area looking for uh, wrong-way operators regarding the new traffic signs. Uh, there were 65 motor vehicle stops conducted and 55 citations issued in regards to that new traffic sign. 
I'm not sure if you have any questions about those numbers. Uh, I, I have no questions on the numbers. The, the reason that I, I actually had this put on the agenda was a, maybe a month ago, one of the residents on the, on the Smithfield Road was at the meeting and, and, and said that the traffic was, was going back up again. It was, it, was, it was getting back to levels that it was almost at before. And so we just wanted to know if there was an update on it and if more patrols would be scheduled and just to keep a handle on it because as you know, if you're enforcing speeding, as soon as you move the car away, it picks back up again, and so. Right. I mean, I'm in the patrol unit, so um, I'm made aware of these issues. The information's getting back to the patrol, so we are well aware of the issue. Uh, the difficult part is the time of day that um, those violations occur. I think it's three to seven is the sign. Mm -hmm. I work day shift, so I only work the three to four gap. Um, between three and four, we do get a lot of service calls, and we don't have many guys on the road, so if one guy is going to a call, the other guy is kind of responsible for everything else going on throughout the town. So when we do have units available, we are over there. It's just tough in regards to the time of day and the number of officers that we do have uh, available uh, to conduct these posts. There was a question, and they said we couldn't answer that. Um, I know uh, streets in Woonsocket that put up cameras in Woonsocket. Why can't we have a camera there? Someone said, oh, we can't do it, or made some comment. Negative. Under state law, I believe the only cameras that are allowed to be put in are in school zones. Well, once in Wisconsin, trust me, I'm not in school zones. Well, they may be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that because then people in Wisconsin start questioning the tickets. So, are there any issues? Are there any other questions on that? Uh, not so much of a question, but uh, Officer Conte, I just want to reiterate that uh, it's once a week, at least I get a phone call from a concerned mm. uh, resident out there. Uh, you're well aware of the safety hazards out there. Uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can come up with some type of strategy to alleviate this uh, cutting through. Put it, put it to rest. I appreciate your efforts. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> if you could just give that report to the clerk. It doesn't happen to be today, but you report that you had from 2018. Oh, okay. If you give it to the clerk, she'll, she'll disseminate it to the rest of the board. Yes, sir. Can I, can I ask a clarifying question? Mm -hmm. 218, I, I didn't quite catch it. It's 123 uh, observations, no, six, uh, 65 was, stops and 55 cycles. There was 123 traffic posts. Um, so sometimes we'll respond to Old Smithfield Road. Let's say we park there 15, 20 minutes, we open up a call for a traffic post. Okay. Or we might have to respond to a call after that 15th minute. Yeah. Um, so sometimes motor vehicle stops aren't an outcome from that post. Got it. I, that was the post that the, the, the word. Thank you. You're Thank you, Officer. Thank you. All right, now we'll go back to the regular. Item number five, comprehensive.